Welcome, welcome, welcome to Clicked Up TV. I'm glad y'all here today. Topic is about science. In regards to science, I want to talk about apples. Not just any apples, but the seeds of an apple. Not just the seed of an apple, but the core of an apple. Yes, I want to get to the history of this. I just found out apple seeds contain amygdala, a substance that's released cyanide when it comes into contact with the human digestive system. The, the digestive enzymes, digestive enzymes or a group of enzymes that play a key role and you know in breaking down the food we eat. You know, so all that food you put in your body, it gots to break down somehow. And enzymes plays that key factor in breaking down your food in your stomach. Now, when it breaks down the food, of course, you have proteins that speed up the chemical reaction that turn the nutrients into substances that your digestive tract can absorb. Now, and as you know, we all need digestive enzymes to break down our food and to get nutrients we need. Now, and as for the apple seed, our body enzymes cannot break down the seed nor the core. And that's what I want to get into, the seed and the core of the apple. Let's get it. So as I said, the apple seeds cannot break down in your body. The body enzymes cannot break down the seed nor the core. But who's out here eating apple seeds and cores? Now, like I said in the beginning, apple seeds and apple cores contains a certain amount of cyanide. And you know, cyanide in, in a good dose is not healthy. So let's see how much of a dose you need in order to become a risk of losing your life. So it says, it takes about over 200 seeds and it takes over 40 apple cores to cause the body to shut down, cause the body to have risk of dying, of intoxicating your body with apple seeds and apple cores. But like I said, who's out there consuming this part of the apple? I don't know. So hold up, hold up. Don't, don't give up on apples. I don't want to scare you guys for eating for not eating apples. Don't give up on the apples. Continue to eat your apples, apple pies. Shoot, you know, apples are highly nutritious and delicious and grown in many varieties. You know, as a child, I remember like the Fuji apples my grandma would give me. When it comes to apples, there's so many varieties, shapes and sizes, and some are sweeter, some are juicier than others. But the bottom line, apples when eating daily and consistent they can lower the risk of many chronic conditions such as diabetes heart disease and cancer apples also promote weight loss and improve gut and brain health so once again besides the negative effects of eating over 200 seeds from an apple and 40 apple cores the negative effect of getting cyanide poison and losing your life which is a risk to everybody's health look at the good factor the fact of why we all eat apples because they're nutritious they're sweet they're juicy and it helps promote weight loss and improve gut and brain health so if that's not a reason to eat an apple or pick up an apple or eat one apple a day what is Put down the bull crap, put down the sugar, put down the things that's not gonna better your health and pick up an apple. Whether it's a red apple, green apple, yellow apple, granny apple, Fuji apple, you know, it's all sorts of variety of apples out there. So stay tuned people. I just wanna bring a little history of the apple seed and the fact that apple cores and apple seeds do contain a certain amount of cyanide. And it takes well over 200 seeds and well over 40 apples to even risk your life. 
So don't be blending up 200 seeds and 40 apple cores to make a uh, a dangerous concoction. Eat the apple for what it's worth. Throw the core and throw the seed to the wayside. Thank you for listening. I'm out.